Gil Brandt, longtime Dallas Cowboys vice president of player personnel. He was with the organization from the beginning in 1960. We're here in Oxnard, California. It's kind of a cool day today. I think about 64 degrees, not quite as sunny. What would Tom Landry think of this setup here? <laughs> well, I don't know. You know, uh, Tom was pretty flexible. And, uh, of course, uh, you know, we did not have, first of all, driving out of here at lunchtime today, uh, at 1230, there was about a mile and a half of cars waiting in line to get into practice. <laughs> Only uh, a mile and a half today? Well, maybe longer. I don't know. I'm not <laughs> good at the... But, it, but anyway, uh, see, the reason that we came to California, and, and, you know, everything that we did in the old days... Uh, you know, it was like a mom and pop shop, a hand to mouth uh, organization. Uh, you know, where you're going to hope you uh, get the check uh, cashed uh, and get the funds in before it bounces. And so, uh, we had an opportunity to play in the Times Charity Game. In the Times Charity Game, in, in, in those days, you played these preseason games, and we probably played in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Albuquerque, you know, places like that. And you got twenty-five to thirty-five thousand dollars for playing. And so uh, we had an opportunity to play in the Times Charity game, the L.A. Times Charity game, and which was a $100,000 check. And that was huge uh, is what it was. And so uh, uh, Tex called Glenn Davis. And uh, Glenn Davis, the old Army running back, gets in the college, pro, uh, college Hall of Fame, just a great, great player. And uh, he asked Glenn, uh, is there a place out there that we can practice? And, you know, there's a lot of smog in the area yep and and so uh he said yeah he said uh, you know the russians are going to be coming here to uh for the russian american track meet and i think it was 1963 and so uh uh tex and i came out and uh you know it's a six-lane road out here now from from la at that time it was a two-lane road <laughs> is is what it was and there was like five thousand people living in thousand oaks it's now 250,000 people wow and uh, so uh, we uh, started there at Thousand Oaks. Uh, we, we were there uh, through the length of my career with the Cowboys. And uh, in the 26 years, I think it was, that we were there, we never had a day of rain. You had to sleep with covers on at night. I mean, the, uh, the climate is, is really, really great. You get a lot of work done is what you do. And by having cool weather at night where you don't have to sleep under air conditioning, your body gets back a lot quicker. Gil Brandt joining us right here at Aria Medic 1250 ESPN San Antonio, one of the pioneers of modern scouting. Um, how did you, you know, the use of computers and statistics and all that stuff, I mean, what was it just kind of let's let's gain, let's try and figure out a way to gain an edge on, on other scouting? Well, let me, let me say it to you this way. Uh, first of all, you have to understand the way we came into the league. We didn't have the opportunity to draft anybody. Uh, and and uh, we were you know we were handed uh, some names uh, at one o'clock uh, on a Friday so to speak and on a Saturday we had to pick three players from each team and uh, the the pickings were slim but th- there were some players in there like Frank Clark and Jerry Tubbs that ended up playing for us for a long time but our our team was very poor uh, and and so you know we had to do anything possible uh, sign a lot of free agents basketball players uh you know whatever we could do to be competitive is what it is but uh, uh what happened is is that the tex as i said previously had produced a squaw valley winter olympics for cbs and they put some kind of a chip in the in the uh, downhill skiers uh ski so they could tell how fast they were going and, and what how long it took them to get down and so forth and so on and so uh, uh tex and myself went to ibm and, you know, wanted to talk to him about possibly finding out how we could uh, do things. And, uh, you know, they thought so much of the idea. They sent us to one of their little associates, Service Bureau Incorporated. And uh, that that's kind of how we started uh, with a computer. And, and the computer, to give you an idea, is as big as this table right here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and, 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 and about that high. And, and uh, you know, there were wires from everywhere. And, and it, had the, it didn't have the capacity that that laptop you have in front of you is right now. And, and of course, that, you know, it, now it, it's instantaneous success, uh, 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 information. Yeah. In those days, it, uh, you know, you had to put it in with punch cards, and, and, and then you had to, like you were taking an exam, fill it in. Wow. You know, we, keep, we progressed just a little bit. 
And, uh, you know, a lot of people kind of laughed at us and said, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> can you imagine trying to pick football players or call plays with a computer? And, of course, you know, now you can't get along without it.